We're not halfway through the year yet, but we've already seen a lot of laptops introduced so far, including a wide range of business laptops. Among these new laptops, Dell and HP have both introduced some high-profile devices of their own, and choosing one device isn't always easy. We're here to help, though, and in this video, we're pitting the Dell Latitude 5430 against the HP EliteBook 840G9 to determine which one is the best choice for you. To be fair, these laptops are aimed at slightly different audiences, with HP's EliteBook 840 leaning more on toward the premium segment, while the Latitude 5430 is squarely in the mainstream of business laptops. Still, these laptops have a lot in common, and you might find yourself trying to choose between them, so let's take a look at what each of them brings to the table. Perhaps unsurprisingly, neither of these laptops is going to stand out a whole lot in terms of looks. They're both silver-colored metal laptops, and they look very clean and subdued, which is probably what you'd want in a business environment. There's no hint of flair here, and the biggest thing distinguishing them is that the Elite Book 840 is a lighter shade of silver compared to the Latitude 5430. Even on a more technical level, the laptops are very similar. Both are about 19mm to 20mm thick and start at around 3 pounds of weight. You could argue that's a bit more impressive for HP, though, seeing as it's using more power-hungry processors that require more cooling. The difference in the aspect ratio of the display does mean that the Dell Latitude 5430 is a white laptop overall, while the HP Elite Book 840 G9 is taller. Whether you prefer one or the other is up to your personal preference, though. Turning to the ports, both laptops have something going for them, and which one you prefer will depend on your specific needs. The Dell Latitude 5430 has two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB Type-A ports, HDMI, RJ45 Ethernet, a headphone jack, a micro SD card reader, plus the option for a nano SIM slot and a smart card reader. The HP Elite Book 840 G9 is similar in many ways. It also has two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB Type-A ports, HDMI, and a headphone jack, but it lacks RJ45 Ethernet or a micro SD card reader. Not everyone will need those ports, but if you do, the Latitude 5430 is clearly a better choice. It does also give you the option for a smart card reader and a nano SIM slot though. As you probably expect, both of these laptops come with Intel's 12th generation processors, but that doesn't mean they're the same. The Dell Latitude 5430 is using Intel U15 series processors, meaning they have a 15 watt TDP, while the HP Elite Book 840 G9 uses P-series processors with a 28 watt TDP. That higher power consumption means the processors have more cores and run faster for longer. But the higher TDP also means HP's laptop is going to eat through its battery more quickly, so if you need something that lasts you all day, the Latitude 5430 may be a better option. To get an idea of how much more powerful Intel's P-series processors are compared to the U15 series, we can look at the benchmark scores in Geekbench 5. This is exclusively a CPU test, so it's not necessarily a great indicator of overall performance, but it gives you an idea of what to expect. You can tell that the increased number of cores really improves performance in P-series processors, especially on the Core i7 to 1280p, which is a whopping 14 cores and 20 threads. P-series processors should also perform ever so slightly better in terms of the integrated graphics since their clock's slightly higher. As we've mentioned, that comes at the cost of battery life, even more so, because the battery inside the Dell Latitude 5430 is bigger than the one inside the HP Elite Book 840 G9. Both laptops offer two tiers of battery, but Dell wins in both 41 watt hours versus 38 watt hours in the lower tier and 58 watt hours versus 51 watt hours in the higher configuration. Aside from the CPU, the two laptops are somewhat similar. Both come with up to 64 gigs of slotted RAM, though the Latitude 5430 is using DDR4 RAM at 3200 MHz, while the Elite Book 840 has newer DDR5 RAM running at 4800 MHz. Both are also available with up to 2 terabytes of PCIe 4.0 SSD storage. HP's Elite Book 840 G9 continues to show its more premium focus as we move on to the display. These are both 14-inch laptops, but the Elite Book 840 G9 comes with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is taller than a typical 16 by 9 screen. What that means is you get extra vertical space, which is generally considered much better for productivity. You can see more lines of text on a document, rows in Excel, or UI elements in apps like Adobe Premiere, so it requires less scrolling or moving things around. Every configuration of the laptop comes in Full HD Plus resolution, but you can opt for a brighter display or even add HP SureView Reflect, the company's latest privacy screen technology. On the other hand, the Dell Latitude 5430 sticks with the more traditional 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so it doesn't have the same benefits for productivity as HP's laptop. It similarly comes in Full HD resolution in most configurations, though there's supposed to be a lower resolution version that's not available for sale at writing time. The Latitude 5430 has an advantage, in that you can have it with touch support, if you want to, and it also offers the option for a privacy screen, called Dell Safe Screen. 
With all of these comparisons made, all that's left is to look at the price, and that's an important thing to do here. The Dell Attitude 5430 starts at roughly $1,419, but the HP Elite Book 840 G9 is in a completely different league starting at over $2,000. That's a massive difference, and neither of these laptops is cheap in the first place. For that price difference, the HP Elite Book 840 G9 comes with faster processors, newer RAM, a taller display that's better for work, a better webcam, tile integration, and it gives you configuration options for things like 5G cellular networks. Those are all noteworthy advantages, but justifying a nearly $600 difference in starting price is still difficult. On the other hand, the Dell Attitude 5430 also has some benefits, like a more efficient processor, and more physical ports such as Ethernet. There are also smaller things like the option for touch support on the display, intelligent privacy features for the webcam. Plus, even in areas where it loses, the Latitude 5430 still offers a solid experience. It has modern processors and a lot of configuration options. Well, there's number 5G, it does have LTE. What do you think about these two laptops? Which of these two would you take? Write your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you soon.